on number six for Fraley. A no doubter. He bombs to right, and the Reds stake to a five run lead. There it is, floating in the river. The closing day at Remington to wrap up his first riding title. Flow to over. They're two minutes long. The start to this one. Thorsland, when she walks in with those punches, she steps in. Uh, lo looks a little amateurish. Yeah, I think that she's 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 just learning on the job. I mean, you know, it's not a lot of uh, competition in Denmark. She's 24 years old. She's got a tough opponent here in this one. Thorsland and Ashley head to round two. Jess Fox winning 4.83 seconds was quite devastating. The Australian claims the opening leg of the C1 World Cup. Andrea Herzog, young gun for Germany, Jean-Pierre second, and Theresa. And yet they've got the one-point lead. And you look at the difference in Kenny Brooks' reactions from one turnover to the next. That turnover, he's not that upset about. You know why? Because he can see the potential in that play right there. Oh, that's tight. Yeah, Miles was into the net there as he pushed that one through, kind of with an open hand. I think he was anticipating simultaneous contact, but net nonetheless. He was the other speed with Defying Purpose, and she was only two to one that day. And, well, Defying Purpose beat her by nine lengths or eight and a half lengths. So I thought she really ran well. Should wet, pa wet paint, should anybody be this kind of favorite in here? I, I thought it was far more wide open. I really did. Well, that, of course, is the attention this barn takes. Brad Cox, 7-5 yeah. favorite with this filly. Let's hear from him on his Martha Washington winner. Company makes it 2-0 for Manchester City. The leadership, incredible, one of the greatest captains in Premier League history, if not the greatest captain that we've ever seen, in the sense that always leading by example, always being so perfect almost on and off the field by what he would do, the way he would behave, the way he would lead the team, what he would say, the post-match interviews, the pre-match interviews, the features on him, everything. There was, there was never a mistake, it, it was all so perfect. He was not allowed us in the dressing room. You know, we had 14, 15 captains in a dressing room at Man City at that time. But he was great as a captain because, you know, he was the sensible factor in our dressing room. If there ever was an, an argument to be in place between players or management or staff or employees, he was the one that always settled everybody down and see it from both perspectives. Um, that, that was also that how that was on the pitch. Deal in all phases of the game. I want to say this to you right now and again. Just don't let anybody set your limit. Just work hard. Whoever is going to watch this right now, just work hard. Don't let anybody set your limit. Nobody has the power to set your limit but yourself. So that's the only thing I'm going to say. I remember a lot of people used to talk about that. I was like, bro, a lot of people don't even know me. They're talking that I'm a slow. I was like, okay, let's see whenever whenever the lights are on. Let's see what we got. Julio blasts this out to center. This is driven back by the wall. The lights never shone too brightly for the center fielder, who was named Rookie of the Month after posting a 309 batting average and recording 34 hits, six of them homers, and five stolen bases. Wallace, happy birthday. What a way to celebrate your birthday. Yeah, it is. It is. It's uh, a little overwhelming, man. I don't know what came over me on that last shot. I just, it was like I was shooting for a million dollars. I went into a complete just lockup. Um, <laughs> Like I said, I've had a really rough off season. A lot of stuff's happened. So to be able to come in here and just keep it together. Live coverage of the Delta McKenzie ASA 